how to make a free logo using logo maker hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can create your own logo using logo maker for free so let's get into it now logomaker.com is a free and easy to use website now, they specialize in creating logos so unlike other graphic design platforms they actually focus on designing logos so if you want to create a logo and you're not familiar on how design works and how to just you know get started with the entire thing you can go on to logomaker.com and that's logo m-a-k-r.com and what you're going to do is you're going to click on free logo maker app and then what you're just going to do is you're going to click on next next and done and you can search for any kind of shape any kind of item so let's say that for the purpose of this video i want to create a logo for my gym so i'm just going to search for gym over here and then you're going to find a lot of different uh, icons related to the gym. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for muscle or biceps or triceps. So whatever kind of creative thing that you can think of, you're just going to search for it. So I think I'm going to use this image over here. And I'm just going to place it over here like so. Or you can even click on the design templates and use one of the previously created templates and enter your own information over here as well. If you're not very good at uh, creative design or anything like that, you can just click on the design templates and use one of the templates and customize it to make it your own just so you have a better basic layout to get started with. And I'm going to show you guys later on how to do that as well. But for now, I'm just going to take this image and I'm going to select the color. So this is like the color wheel and i can drag anything i want so let's say i want this to be like a dark maroon color and what i'm going to do now is once i've added that what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on shapes and i'm going to click on ring over here and i'm going to drag to resize this and i'm going to move it directly on the center and you can see when i move these you have these cross designs so these will illustrate where your design actually is so when i want it to be centered it's going to show me like where the central cross is for me to make sure that the circle is centered now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the styles over here and i'm going to increase the line width like so because i want this to form like a thick border and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the color of the line. So I'm going to just change it up. Let's say I want this to be, well, no, I think I'm going to make it black. So after like adding this black border, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the text over here and you can add curved text or you can add fancy text over here. So I'm going to click on curved text. I'm going to remove the basic text over here that I was going to previously add. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize this so it fits according to my circle. And now I'm going to just enter the name of my business. So this could be Sharks Gym. And then on the bottom of my circle, I'm going to add like a slogan. But before I do that, I'm going to customize my text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Styles. And first off, I'm going to increase the font size. And I'm going to make it slightly bold. And now I'm going to change the color. I'm just going to select the text over here. And I'm going to change the color onto the text so i think i'm going to go with another dark red kind of shade and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on text once more and i'm going to add curve text and i'm going to remove the bottom text over here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the styles and i'm going to scroll so i'm just going to move this up a bit and i'm going to click on styles like this and i'm going to click on flip so i am just going to place it like so and i want this to be rotated so you can either do that with the flipping and then have like opposite kind of text but i, I, I don't think we want that or you can make it like so and then click on flip so if you want to do that you can do that as well and i'm going to set this at exactly 50 percent and i'm going to increase the letter spacing a bit so it's a bit easier to understand now i'm just going to place it over here and i'm going to resize it to be slightly shorter so now i'm going to enter the slogan which might be work hard or just grind so that could be our little slogan and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to place it right over here and i'm going to change the color of the text to a black color now once you have your design you can just click on save logo over here 
and then we're just processing it's almost done you have a url of your logo as well and then you can just click on download your files and now my logo is being converted into a higher resolution and i just have to wait for a couple of seconds and then you can choose whatever plan you want so you can click on place order over here and then you can just check out with your local maker now that is one way to create your logo another way to create your logo using local maker is the templates that i just talked to you guys about so for that you're just going to let's say go back into your website you can click on templates over here and then just from here you can take a look at all of the templates that are already available so you can see there are quite a few options you can just keep on scrolling until you find something that you like and then let's say I like this template, I can just open it up. And then once I have opened it up, I can just start customizing it. So this could be, obviously this is very much um, custom to the Cosmos theme, but you can just customize it if you want. Let's say if I find something a bit more generic. So this fashion girl is very like a generic kind of logo. You can customize it to enter your own brand name and you will be ready to go. So you can see over here you have podcaster, butterfly and co, mind clothing, prime time. So the fashion palace, all of these logos are very, very simple to customize. So uh, let's say home builders. If I click on this, I can, if I'm running whatever kind of real estate business, I can just take this logo. And what I'm just going to do is I'm going to change the color to a blue color, dark blue colors. I'm going to use those. And on the bottom text, I'm going to add James real estate. And I'm just going to select the text. I'm going to change the color of the text to be like a gray blue color. I'm going to make sure that this is centered. And just like that, I have a absolutely gorgeous looking logo that I can post on my website, I can post on my business card, on my apparel, accessories, any kind of thing that is related to your business. You can easily post it on there and you don't even have to spend like over a minute to create your logo. You can just make it in under five minutes or even in under one minute if you know what kind of design you're looking for. So you can just search in the templates or you can just go into their free logo maker to design your logo. And you can click on over here and take a look at how they actually make their money and you have custom design services available on local maker as well where you can choose a package to get your own high-end custom design so you just have your basic logo over here but with this kind of logo you can uh, add it to your print on demand website add it to your website link it directly and get the url of your logo as well or you can, you can just click on save over here and then just use url save design so you can just copy that over here and once you copy it, you can paste and go to Logo Maker to view your design like so. And then you can later on uh, customize it as well if you want to. You can add more elements to your design if your design has been upgraded or if you feel like you need a design upgrade. And you can just customize however you like. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create your own custom logos as well. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment box down below and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. And I will catch you guys in the next video.